This is a continuation of the last tutorial where I um, was beginning to draw some shapes. I drew a square and a sort of puffy square with nibble corners. And then I copied them up onto uh, higher levels, level two and three, and uh, and scaled each piece. So I scaled the uh, middle ones by 1.25 and the upper ones by 0.75. So these are normal lines, which actually I'm, I'm within the mass editor, by the way. These are normal lines that you draw by using this tool. Um, I'm going to copy these guys, each of them. Then I'm going to right click for element properties because my copies are still selected. I'm going to change them into reference lines because I want to show you the difference of these. You see that the reference line visuals show up with the, through, uh, the construction planes at the end of each one in every case. So um, I'm going to shift around by holding my shift and right clicking. That's how I'm doing these quick rotations of views. I'm going to select my first set of lines, hit create form. I'm going to do it again. Do it again. And then one more time. Now what you see is, is these, they all look pretty similar except for the uh, reference lines are, are, are still showing up. Because remember the major difference between using normal lines and reference lines is that normal lines, if I delete the form which they make, it sort of all goes away. If I do the same thing with the form made from reference lines, I still have my reference lines available for use. Now the other major difference is that um, when I go to manipulate a form that's made with normal lines, I'm given shape handles in most cases. But when I have a, a form that's made with reference lines, I don't get those shape handles um, because they're sort of constrained. They're always constrained by the reference lines that made them. And I'll show you for a second what I mean by that. Um, if we go to, uh, say, this guy, I'll go to level two and then split my screen so we can see what's happening when we manipulate this. I've got this, the reference lines of the last form, the form on the left hand side of this screen, selected. And what I'm going to do is, in the plan view, hit scale. And we'll do a numerical scale. I'll do it in 1.5, something pretty rotund. And you see the, the massing sort of puffs out. So I, I've got this kind of lucid numerical control that's afforded by having these reference planes. You can kind of do the same thing with a form that's made from uh, normal lines. So if I grab the whole form and I hit X-ray, which I can do for any one of these at any, one, at any time, it shows me the bones of the form. And I can come in and tab through. And I can find the chain of lines, or I can find, uh, you know, one segment of the lines. And I'm given a shape handle just for that individual uh, construction element. But let's uh, let's see if we can do the same operation. We'll tab until I find the whole chain. I'll go into my plan. And I'm doing it in plan, so I have a, a centered reference point. I'll hit the scale tool. And I'll again do it 1.5. And he sort of inflates. So I, I guess you know the reality is you're you're afforded the same kind of numerical control. And the biggest major difference seems to be the um, lack of shape handles on the form that's made with uh, reference lines. And the um, that would be a negative for this in my mind. And then the, uh, the negative for the forms that are made from normal lines, I, I think, would be that when you destroy the form, all of your construction lines disappear. So I think it's a sort of maybe more uh, eccentricities will become evident. But for now, that seems to be the two big differences between the two.